Evening folks, uh, welcome aboard uh, for a bit of Hauptstrecker Munich to, uh, to where are we going? Augsburg, that's where we're going. Uh, <laughs> out, brand new today, along with a whole bunch of preserved collection business, uh, which we like. I'm being joined by Natalie. Hello, Natalie. Hello. Hey. Good intro. Uh, solid, excellent work. It's what they like you because you're so chatty. Um, to the point, you know. <laughs> uh, right, so this evening I'm going to be driving and, uh, and Natalie's going to be fielding your questions. Good Abend, Liam. Uh, thank you very much. Um, yeah, but we're going to, uh, we're gonna, I'm going to, well, I say we, I'm going to endeavour to do brilliantly uh, with, the, uh, with the 423 and, uh, and I'm going to turn the PZB on because you people always yell at me when I don't turn the PZB on. So I'm going to turn the PZB on. Uh, right, we're going to timetable. Uh, where are you? So it's, it's right there. There we go. Bit of PZB action. Um, so, yeah, so expect this to go badly. The good news is I know how to turn the PZB back off again. So that's, that's all good. Now, I want a bit of, uh, I don't think we want a blizzard. I want autumn clear what we're after I'm, I'm gonna go for an early morning so we can catch the sunrise see i've thought this through beautiful all of that uh the gates there uh they good uh you know good now um right there we are uh there you are. don't just ask how we're doing uh, somebody actually complimented my shirt i'll have you know so i'm pretty happy they now. they may well have complimented your shirt uh but uh just goes to prove irony's not dead um <laughs> <Really>? right uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all right i can take it as well as dish it you know feel free to respond in kind uh right we're going to do we'll do uh mammendorf down to uh to munich um and uh and see how we uh see how we get on no, no idea. No, I'm not doing it with LZB as well. I'm, I, and I'm not turning Cipher on either because I watched the professor's video, or at least I watched 20 minutes of the professor's video while I was setting up for this evening. And, uh, and he said that you should not have Cipher on while trying to learn PZB because it will just make for an upsetting experience. So there. Uh, right. Okay. Let's, I mean, I, I should be honest, I should be uh, unlocking the doors first. Uh, but before we do any of that, uh, let's uh, let's bang that on. Let's get the doors. Hang on. Are we in a station? It's always always worth checking. There you go. Have some of that. Right now, let's crack on with all of this kind of business. Uh, right. <laughs> I hate myself. Um, right. Okay. Yeah. Good. 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 Passenger lights on, please. Yes. Uh, I don't need that. I need this. Yep. Uh, I need the window heating. Yep. Uh, and I need. Uh, we'll do the horn. There you go, uh, right, and uh, and then I want the spotlight. They are perfect. Uh, what's oh, what's this keyhole do? That presumably coupled is that coupling? Is that the coupling key? Do you have to activate that in order for uh, for a bit of coupling action? Uh, native Germans, perhaps. Uh, I thought yeah, I thought I'd start on the other end as well. I haven't. I've, I've done it the wrong way around. So we're going to we're going to leave uh, Munich, and uh, and then we'll head out to Mammendorf. Um, it's all much of a muchness, to be honest. Uh, but uh, but there we go. We get to do the uh, uh, the slightly uh, the, the the slightly frame rate intensive uh, area of Munich to kick off with, because I thought let's do that first, and then uh, and then we'll get into the slightly smoother running when there aren't a bazillion tracks all going at once. Right, we're about ready to rock here. No slamming the emergency brakes. No, no, there's going to be lots of slamming the emergency brakes. If you haven't driven the 423 yet, um, uh, that we're all about the emergency brake. Now, what I'm going to be trying to look for <laughs> is, uh, is signal boards uh, telling me what speed I should be doing under PZB. Now, I know all the PZB buttons, by which I mean I mash all the PZB buttons at the same time. Um, but uh, but I've yet to pick up on the trackside markers showing me the uh, the PZB. So it's broken it straight away. Yeah, I'm good. It's all good. It's all good. No, it's all good. Everything's good here. That's a lie. That doesn't look like everything is that's good. What, uh, that's what PZB it. does when you upset it. All I was doing was accelerating. I wasn't even going very fast. Here's the reset <laughs> button. <laughs> There you go, and it's all working again. Uh, 
This was just a demonstration of what happens yeah, when you, you go. Uh, oh, it's 40 right? kilometers an hour max. Where does it say that? <laughs> if I knew where it said that, I would be able to uh, to respond to it. The problem is it doesn't. You, you, you've got a 45 limit at the start. Again, where does it say that? <laughs> Look, no, no, I, I freely admit to being completely ignorant of such things. Um, but the, the, the issue is, if it's not going to tell me, then how am I supposed to know when 85 slash 70, it means 45? Gotcha. I mean, am I, only, am I the only one taking crazy pills? Uh, I don't or does that just not make any sense? No, that doesn't make any sense. What? Below Why? 45 when it blinks 85, 70. All right, okay, well, I can do that. Going slowly is not an issue. I just need to know what uh, what speed I should. So, what does the 8570 mean then? Oh, hold on, we're going to need to hammer the brakes on. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with the uh, 425 sensor, uh, it is uh, it is not the fastest thing to slow down in the world. Press N to stop it blinking. Oh, okay. Because uh, that, that no end is not acknowledge. End is what disable. It's uh, I can't remember so which, which it is. Press end to stop blinking. That's what the chat says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's uh, which is that? That's the PZB release. I don't understand why if it was like no more than forty, it has the eighty-five seventy. That wouldn't it make more sense to have matching numbers. Yeah, I I don't un I look if I understood why. 75 slash uh, 70 slash 85 means 45 then i would i would get behind it um but uh i don't it, i don't i know what it is but what what's the relate it's like watching only connect you kind of go oh, yeah i i mean i have no idea what the uh uh what the connection is between a ham sandwich and uh, joan of arc uh, right, okay, all right, so we are currently, it currently says 85 down there, which doesn't mean 85. Got it. Right. Okay. Um, I'm being asked if it was my voice on the introduction. It was not. It was not. Oh. I'm not sure whose voice that was. No, it wasn't. It, it definitely was you. Right. Okay, all right. Now, I'm, I'm keeping the power down, but it now says 85, but it doesn't mean 85. I've got a track limit of 80. <laughs> I'm trying to keep an That's eye so out. confusing. I'm trying to keep an eye out for signals to give me any kind of a clue. Now you can give it full throttle. Don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 85, 70, and 50 are the different things of being modes. Okay. But what do they mean? I yes, just, I would like to know what they mean. As well. don't, don't, what, what do they stand for? I, I tell you what, look, given given how uh, how slowly this uh, this train doesn't slow down, um, uh, I I might just drive uh, Miss Daisy for the entire route here, uh, and then everything will be peachy. Right, 600 meters, 62 kilometers an hour. Give it the beans on the brakes. Some people are asking for the game volume to be turned down slightly. We'll do. I'll do. They're struggling station. to hear you. They can't hear me. No, I don't think your mic might. My microphone is not being unreasonable. That I, I don't understand. I don't. I do not understand what is going on with anything in life at all. Uh, it, it's not. It, it, the the majority of the the frame rate uh, drop that you get near Munich is actually because of the overhead lines more than anything else. Um, the good news is we're already working on it uh, mm -hmm. and have been working on it for a while. So efficiency in. Uh, in track drawing and in uh, uh, overhead wire drawing and all of that kind of business has been worked on for a while and, uh, and as we start to roll those out it will also form part of the solution to ensure that all console players can have all layers. Now we're not quite ready to release it yet but, uh, but work is ongoing and, uh, and I'll try and get you a full kind of status of that uh, for next week's uh, roadmap update. <laughs> Uh, there we are. Now, why release the route then? Because the route plays fine. Um, it's you know it's it's good. Yeah, we know it's got a bit of a problem at, towards Munich, but it's only it's only that big, um, and uh, and we have fixes incoming. So uh, 
you know, you can you can drive the rest of it, no problem at all. And obviously, you're not obliged to get it straight away. I mean, I know that's not much of a consolation, uh, but the, at the end of the day, we're doing, we're looking to uh, we're looking to get things sorted as quickly as possible. Uh, right, uh, audio. Let's turn the game volume down. I'll knock it down by about fifty percent, and we'll see how that does. There we go. Uh, that way, you okay. should you should still be audible, and uh, and everything else is is peachy keen. Let's hope so. Right. Any news on Isle of Wight fixes? Yes, coming real soon. Coming mm -hmm. really soon. Really, really soon. Uh, I don't have a. Uh, I, I don't have an exact date for you. All I know is that uh, really soon, uh, the console fixes for Isle of Wight will be along. Um, uh, you already have all layers on console. No, you, well, yes and no. Uh, yes, you have them, but it's because of a bug that we spotted this morning. And uh, un, un, unusually, we hadn't spotted it during QA. Uh, because, Can uh, we explain layers for people who don't understand what layers are? All yours. I'll so, drive the train. Uh, cor please correct me if I get any of this information wrong. You won't, but carry on. So, uh, when we release something, you have a sort of... Um, what's the I can't think of the word now. You have a set amount of services with each with each new bit of content. And some of the previous contents, the the routes match or there's um, routes on different pieces of content where they fit into the new content. So when we release something new, it's called a layer if you can get um, this content that's on a different uh, what's the word I'm looking for Sam a different different services yeah um, I've just lost my train of thought completely. I know have another swing at it go again no it's good you're, you're right just just now recompile the words into something that uh, uh, that makes sense in your head as you're saying it yeah so <sighs> struggling here all right you've got a base route right yeah uh, That's when we release a new route, it is the base route. Uh, and so, for example, for uh, Munich Augsburg, uh, the base route includes the 423 and the ICE and all of the services that are associated with that. However, if you own other associated routes and add ons, they will add extra layers of services over the top of the base layer. These layers will be uh, trains that run on that route as well that happen to also be included in uh, in other routes you own uh, Now at the moment if you have more than the base layer on console It is very likely unless you're running a pro edition that the gameplay performance will be horrific uh, so the intention was to have that disabled uh, when we released uh, Munich Augsburg today um, However, a bug in one mission, it's, which one is it? It's the third tutorial, uh, isn't it? Mission three. Yeah, Chapter so it's, three. it's the third mission. You can feel free to use this. You won't damage your game or your progress or anything like that. Um, by, com by completing that mission, uh, you end up with uh, all of the services turned on. Uh, you can tell if you've got the services or not because you should have 320 something uh, for just the base layer and it will increase up to 427 maximum uh, if you've got everything turned on. So I'm playing this with everything turned on uh, on PC because obviously, you know, I don't want to work on the team. So I've got everything and, uh, and I'm playing on PC. So I've got all layers turned on. Uh, um, so, I've, been uh, asked if, I've been asked a few times what the um, exact number is as well for the base layers, uh, for the base. Three, two, four. Three or something like that. Yeah, I've seen some people asking me if like three two a or three three a is too many. That sounds. No, no. Three three eight says that you've probably got at least one other yeah. route adding services on there. Um, the way you can check is if you uh, restart the game, five. don't load any routes at all. Have a look at how many services you've got. That is the base amount. Mike's, Mike thinks 325. Mike thinks 325, okay. Yeah. Mike's, Mike's pretty clever. Um, so there you go. So, some will say 327, some will say 338. Uh, but 
if you if you reset the game, uh, so reload the game, uh, it will drop to uh, the base layer of, uh, of services anyway. Um, either way, either way, feel free to experiment with it until we patch it, um, because we will be patching it pretty quickly too, uh, because not everybody is aware that that is an unintended consequence. Uh, so rather than it just being uh, something we've uh, we've shipped that is just poor uh, for for base uh, game players, no, this is something that is accidentally poor. Um, so uh, yeah, no, no, we will be patching that out as quickly as possible because not everybody knows uh, that it is uh, it is something that you can effectively switch on and off. But we do want to bring layers uh, to consoles and. Uh, the way that we're going to accomplish that is by uh, is by improving efficiency across the board. Um, and, uh, and when we've done so, you should be able to get all the layers, and it will run more smoothly across the board. There you go. Right. Sorry, breaking. I'm dead. Concentration's on. 100% break here. Drive it like you want. Any news on the Isle of Wight patch? Uh, yeah. If you missed it from five minutes ago, it's almost done. Uh, so uh, the, the amount of weight you've got will not be significant. Can't give you an exact time frame, though. Uh, but if you're uh, if you're familiar with these streams, exact time frames are not a currency we tend to trade in very often. There you go. Um, Just roll it the rest of the way. That'll be fine. <laughs> are the performance issues the same on the PS4 Pro compared to the standard PS4? No. Or does it run better on the PS4 Pro? Runs better on the Pro. I imagine too. In fact, we've seen some pro pro users uh, who have reported trying out having as many layers turned on as possible say that actually it runs just fine. So the the difference between runs just fine and doesn't run well at all is uh, is actually pretty slim. I'm not being horrible to Nancy. I'm not being horrible. Am I being horrible? You're not being horrible. There you go. You can say no more than usual. That's acceptable. It's true. But then I give as good as I get. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, yeah, absolutely. Swings and roundabouts. We're both no, terrible no, to each other. Fine. We have an understanding. <laughs> <coughs> right. Good. Uh, uh, what's the max speed of this train? I don't know, and I dare not find out. Uh, because I am running with PZB on, and I am driving very, very gently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we gonna, we'll, we'll have a look at the outside while we're in the station. Look, see, sunrise. That's what yeah, that's what we came to see. I like it. Why no country flags on the preserved routes on the main page? I'm pretty sure this has already been looked into, no, isn't it? No. That's no. no. madness. So what yeah. we've been saying since preserved collection came out is oh the extra UI time that we're going to need to put uh, country flags onto uh, onto the preserved collection. Is, uh, is more significant than you might think and the UI designers aren't available. Today's preserved collection comes out and all of the new preserved collections has got flags on it. No! Kind of go like, if someone wouldn't te mind telling us what was going on there, that'd be nice. So uh, there you go. Enjoy having flags on the new stuff but not the old stuff, which is also old stuff. And the new stuff is also old stuff. Apart from the very new stuff, which is new stuff and has flags. The old stuff that is old stuff doesn't have flags. The old stuff that is new stuff has flags. Ah, uh, there you go. Write that down, decode it using your special decoder ring. I'm pretty sure you were trying to confuse everyone there and succeeded. It's almost as though you have seen my patter before. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, the, the, the latest preserve collection has all got flags on it. Uh, the, the reason we haven't updated to include flags on everything else is you have to read down the to, uh, to get a flag on it. So what I suspect we'll try and do, I'll confirm this with Adam, ooh, speedy train, um, is, uh, is as we make adjustments uh, to other routes that already exist that don't have the flag in there, meaning that you would need to download uh, a chunky amount of the route anyway, I think we'll probably try and sneak the flags in there. Um, so, uh, so yeah, there we go. <coughs> Yeah, please plug in your Enigma machine. It will help you significantly. Mm -hmm. There we are. Good. Right. Natalie should try the 101 on West Somerset. Yes, she should. That's my, that's that my favourite. That's my favourite train. 
Okay. Yeah, because it's got gears. Yeah, it's really proper, proper clunky. Uh, volume on my mic is uh, is in and out from time to time. Okay, in which case, it's definitely a problem at my end, which is bizarre because I've changed absolutely nothing. Um, regrettably, there's nothing I can do about it, but I'll have to investigate at some other point. That's mm -hmm. just baffling, and I've left this braking way too late. All the brakes, no, more brakes than that. Put, throw everything out. Oh dear. No, this is an overshoot. This is an overshoot. Oh, it's not. No, we're going to be fine. All right, we can probably take the emergency brake off. Three. Oh. Ah. Right, roll it the rest of the way. There you go. Someone no, said you've got put to come your mic fix. Someone said put your mic <laughs> fix on the road map. <laughs> What's that? Sorry. Put your mic fix. Put my on mic the road fix map. on the road map. <laughs> Uh, is there any freight on this route? There is freight on this route only if you run extra layers. I can't remember for the life of me which layer it is. Um, uh, but uh, but it, there's one of the extra layers that's freight. So obviously that's only something you're going to experience on console after we fix the current issue on... No, on console. You're only going to ex experience it on PC. It's just so confusing. There's just so many, so many flipping variables. Um, uh, there you go, MFB and Ryan Roy Austin. Thank you, train boy. Binary run. May I repeat my question? You can if we haven't already answered it. Yeah, yeah, no, please do. No, no. Yeah. We try and get through as many questions uh, as possible. Um, but yeah. uh, what's, what's the problem? Yeah, no, oh, I've got to reset the brakes. Oh, no. Yeah, because I, I use the emergency brake. There we go. Yeah, sorry, Trey. Can you please take us through some of the main differences between the DB422 and 423? No. <laughs> I'd love to, but honestly, I couldn't tell you. You are asking the wrong person. Um, and uh, I mean, naturally, unless you've got... Uh... No. Okay. So, uh, so unfortunately, you're asking the wrong person. Uh, so I am the, uh, the filthy casual. Uh, who enjoys the occasional bit of train action um, and uh, Matt is the seasoned wizard uh, who knows everything there is to know and unfortunately you've got me this evening rather than Matt there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, was the steam twitter thing just an error from one of the members was which what sorry the, the steam twitter the, the steam twitter thing was misunderstandings in multi-dimensions uh, so the original post, for, for those of you who haven't seen it, the original post was about uh, when this route was releasing today. Um, and uh, the first response to that post was, I'm still waiting with a GIF of a steam train, thereby inferring, never mind that, where are the steam trains? However, this was misunderstood by the operator of the Twitter account to, uh, to be... Uh, uh, to be in reference to the subject of the original post, which was the announcement about today's route. They said, don't worry, it's coming soon. Huh? <laughs> At which point, the person who was actually asking about Steam through the medium of GIFs uh, took that to mean Steam is coming soon. All right, now, let me, let me put this one straight for you. Steam is not coming soon. No. Do you see it on the road map? No, you don't. So sorry to disappoint, but no, that was uh, that was multi-dimensional confusion going on there, uh, and not an excited. Uh, besides which, if we were going to announce that we were working on Steam, I think uh, we would do it in a way that wasn't just the reply to a GIF that was a reply to an announcement on a route. We would probably make a little bit more of a song and dance about it. Probably external views. You got it. So this is the uh, I'm, I'm running a running a, a, a two a two uh, attachment. What would you call that? A double a double header is what we're running today, and that's not bad. Uh, for those of you saying that the frame rate on here isn't good, uh, my frame rate's actually not too bad. It's probably I don't know maybe a frame or two a second better than you're seeing on the stream because I can see the difference between my screen yeah. and the compression. So it's not it's not going like a rocket. But it is not uh, not quite as 
as low as you're seeing it uh, via Twitch. There we go. Right. Good. Okay. And we're underway again. How late am I at the moment? Oh, a little bit. That's okay. The passengers don't mind. They're enjoying the scenery. Look, I'm taking them out during sunrise. It's lovely. Uh, I think the brakes on the 423 are terrible. Sorry, but it's true. Here's the thing. The brakes on the real 423 behave exactly like these ones. Um, if you uh, if you want if you can't be bothered to go and watch the stream of uh, Matt and I doing the 423 earlier this week, he got a, uh, a 423 driver from Germany to walk him through a stream of him driving it, uh, and he said that the brakes are actually pretty much exactly the same in real life. In that, if you want to be on time. You are going to be using 90, 100% braking force a lot, uh, relatively constantly, in fact, uh, when you uh, when you approach a station. So it's very much like driving a, a tube train, in fact, uh, whereby you're going to be accelerating hard and then braking super hard when you come into the station. No, no, no need to be, no, no, no need to apologise. Uh, not even slightly. The brakes are realistic, and unfortunately they're realistic because they're like this in the real world. There you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, do you have a rough date for the next gen console Steam stream discussion? The next gen console stream discussion? Yes. Uh, so we've got no announcements to make as far as next gen consoles. Yes. Uh, and we've, we've not got any content, any announcements on that front coming up either. Uh, what we do know is that the game should be, uh, I'm, I'm looking to Mike to see if there's any confirmation one way or the other, uh, backwards compatibility should be absolutely dandy, so you'll you'll benefit from the, uh, the additional horsepower, but that will announce that properly when the time comes, but my understanding at the moment, and I might be wrong, is that, uh, is that we will be uh, backwards compatible. So, uh, so you'll be able to benefit from the extra horsepower of next-gen when it rolls around. Uh, but as far as a dedicated next-gen version, no news for the foreseeable future. And um, Ross calls, when is the next update for the roadmap? That's next Tuesday. It is indeed. Um, should be a good one, too. Yeah. Uh, it's always a good one, but uh, but last one, the last one was a bit thin, um, so I'm hoping because I was on holiday. See, uh, if I hadn't have been on holiday, it wouldn't have been that thin. I wouldn't have allowed it. Um, but uh, but no, we'll uh, uh, we'll we'll aim for some uh, some some more uh, some more additions this time around. Uh, partly because uh, we have we have kind of encountered. Uh, a bit of left-hand and right-hand miscommunication inside uh, inside the building, where uh, the the core team who are not assigned to uh, preserved collection have been busy beavering away on on fixes and updates and things, uh, but they're they're not passing that information along when we do the roadmap update, which is why we've been getting a few things uh, appearing out of the blue. So hopefully yeah. things will stop appearing out of the blue, and it's just because they are ridiculously busy. So uh, so sometimes we miss out on uh, uh, we miss out on getting all of that information, and we want the, the roadmap to be completely comprehensive about what's being worked on. So uh, so when we talk about uh, optimization of things to enable layers to work smoothly, uh, that should be on the roadmap because there is definitely work going on on that front. We want to be a lot more fully featured, fully detailed uh, about what we're actually uh, what, what's actually going on behind the scenes that's the whole point of running the thing is so that uh, we're not keeping secrets yeah, effectively uh, fix the layers on console James, you were here earlier when I said we were going to can I depart with the cat? There we go. probably, but if I get tripped up by, by PZB it's your fault uh, sorry if it's repeated, but is the LZB implemented? Yes. LZB is implemented on trains that support LZB. Any dates for the layer fixes? No, no date for you yet. Uh, but it is something that is being worked on. And it's being worked on as part of a suite of... Uh, uh, I was going to say upgrades, but it's not really upgrades. It's uh, a suite of... 
That was interesting. Well, it's, I see. I always think that it's the vertical aspects of the the, the patina that uh, makes it look like it's raining. Okay. Um, yeah, it's part of a suite of, of uh, enhancements, no efficiencies that we're making uh, that will allow uh, layers to work smoothly on the console. Uh, but it should also mean that across the board is a smoother game experience. Um, now, I don't know if they will all happen at once or whether it will happen in an incremental fashion. Um, I know that Matt's heavily immersed in such things and so we'll, we'll try and get some kind of guidance as to what to expect and the kind of time frame to expect it uh, for the roadmap chat next week. Yeah. Um. I'm an Xbox player, and when I have both Train Sim World 2020 and Train Sim World 2 installed at the same time, preserved collection routes are only available on Twins, Train Sim World 2, and I can't play them on Train Sim World 2020. So. I thought that was fixed. I thought it was as well. I um, thought that was fixed. When when was when was the last time you experienced that? If you say today, then I'm going to go. I thought that was fixed. Again. Um, <laughs> If you haven't already, uh, get in touch with support because the best information we have is that that's been fixed. Um, obviously, anybody who has experienced the uh, uh, the Xbox uh, uninstallation hokey cokey that exists between 2020 and TSW2, please get in touch with support if you're still experiencing it. Um, because, to the best of my knowledge, we believe that one to be resolved. Mm -hmm. I have to uninstall from Transit World 2 and reinstall. Yeah, that that sounds familiar. Yeah, it does sound familiar. Yeah. Um, let's see. Mm, okay, all right, almost, almost, almost. I took my eye off the ball there to glance at the chat just for a second and uh, an overshot. We are We are painfully late, but as any regular German commuter will tell you, a German train being late is not actually that unusual. Turn my game volume down because you still can't hear me. I'll tell you what. Right, okay, wait, hang on. Give me a tick. I'm going to mute myself. <laughs> Amused them. I think you're amusing them, to be perfectly honest. Um... Uh... I'm actually talking there to you him. I, I hit it yeah. with fury, and I imagine that's made very, very little difference. Have you tried turning it off and on again? I just did. I unplugged it and plugged it back in again. <laughs> uh, and I don't think that's the problem. I think that flipping uh, DI box that I've got up there is the problem, which is disappointing. Either that or it's software. I don't think it's software, but it's probably software. Apparently you sound better now, according to some of the chat. It won't last. I, gu won't. I guarantee you it won't last. Um, but uh, but there you go. There it is. That's sign, you know. We, we, we run with... Uh, yeah, I know. Well, I know some of you can lip-read, but that's why I didn't use big sweary words. Yeah, <laughs> see, you know, I, no, I... I even with the camera on, it's, it's very obvious when you're using big sweary words. <laughs> Honestly, the mute was better. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, they they have no compulsion about uh, about resisting throwing shade in my direction. We have an no. understanding. We keep it light, where uh, where you know one is allowed to make fun of somebody else, and as long as you're not hit. It's the it's the rule of the rule of humour is well, one you don't punch down, and two you're not allowed to make fun of something they can't help. If they can't help it, you can't make fun of it. Uh, if they can help it, if it's their own foolishness slash idiocy, then uh, dive in and make fun of it. Um, you're being asked if you can share the passenger information boards at the next station. Yep. Yep. Typically, there isn't one very close, but I'll, I'll zip out and we'll go and have a look at it. Uh, right, there you go. Oh, this, is a, this is not a button. No, it looks like a dull top. Oh, he breaks again. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, yeah, go on. Get off my train. There you go. All right, I'm getting off my train as well. Go! 
That's going to munch and ost. <laughs> right. Okay, the passengers are going, where's the driver going? He seems to be going in an awful hurry. Going to go, I've got somewhere to be. It's going to say how far behind schedule I am as well. There you go. I feel like you almost ran into a couple Delay of Delay approximately five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Ain't that a trip. It's going to be longer by the time we get to the next station. <laughs> you know what? That's so cool. I mean, it's really simple. But it is, it is brilliant that it now says exactly how late you are on the passenger information screen. Love it. Absolutely I really love like it as a feature. Isn't it, it was, wasn't Matt saying the other night that it should be like, it should go up in every five. So like if you're zero to five minutes late, it should say five. And then if you're 10 minutes late or seven minutes late, it should say you're 10 minutes late or something. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, all right. I'm What's sure that? that was like, it shouldn't be accurate to the minute. It should be like, it's more realistic if it's- If it's not completely <laughs> accurate. Yes, apparently. I can get That's behind that. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's like um, a ballpark, thank you. No, good. No, 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 yeah. that's, that's, that's good stuff. Uh, will we add it. mouse compatibility to console? There's no plan to do so, but we know it is desired. Um, uh, actually, I don't I, Console users, are there any console games that use mouse? Just, I don't, this, uh, for my own knowledge, mouse. rather than anything else. I don't know if they've got inbuilt drivers, you see. Not you that I know they do. Uh, they, they, they've got inbuilt drivers for for, uh, for keyboards, um, yeah. but uh, I don't know about maps. Someone says Fortnite and Minecraft. <laughs> no. Does Minecraft play on maps? Oh, okay. Well, in that case, it does have inbuilt mouse drivers. So that's, that's, uh, Cod Modern Warfare uses mouse, Minecraft does. Okay, all right. Okay. Well, that makes it more likely then, because it means we haven't got to invent a way for a console to uh, to interpret mouse input. Um, yeah, it means it's there. Uh, however, I got nothing to announce on that front, but uh, we, I am hoping, Matt, I know you're listening. Uh, I am hoping to get a bit of an update on the progress of hardware support uh, for next week. I'm hoping, Matt, hoping for something I can tell people about hardware support because we've been working on that for a while and it would be nice to get a status update. Uh, there you go. Um, That's so the just, one. Even though, it's, All right, close enough. even though it's been explained, I'm just going to mention again, so some people are saying that the layers, they like them on the PlayStation 4 and stuff, and it's like, we understand some of you might like it, but um, be aware that some people don't understand it's a problem and they'll be experiencing performance issues as a result of the unintentional layers so we do actually have to fix that problem yeah yeah and um, and therefore you know but it does mean uh that we will uh, we will find a reason to uh, to uh, make a, a layer toggle available that i think the the problem with it is that uh uh shipping something on on console where you include a button that if you press it makes it play horribly um i don't think that's allowed uh the, one of the rules on console is that it has to work on both the standard edition and the pro edition you can't just make a game that is pro only and not allowed so uh so we wouldn't be able to uh, uh to necessarily abide by that so i don't know but we do want like we want layers to work properly on everything the end. That's the end of that story. We want them to work on that. And we've already had a lot of optimization work. That was the word I was looking for earlier. A lot of optimization work has been done already with that goal in mind. Uh, and uh, that work will continue until we reach the right point. Now I've got a yellow coming up in a click and a half. And I imagine PZB is going to have some kind of seizure. <laughs> I'm going to acknowledge it. I'm going to slow down a bit. Um, but in all honesty, I don't know what it's going to want from us. Prepare, PZB. I'm ready. I've got all three buttons lined up here. I'm looking for any kind of trackside information it can give me. Just, <laughs> just say. You need to get to 40. Okay, all right. Okay, I can do that. I've got all oh, I've got. So, really? You need to drop to 40 on the yellow. That seems excessive, especially since we're talking about kilometres here. 
Are you breaking the train again? After yellow, slow down below 85. Oh, I'm fine with 71. Well, we'll see what happens. I've got the yellow coming up in 250 metres. So, uh, so brace yourselves, everybody. And is this signpost going to tell me anything? Uh, signal post, 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 post. One yellow light. Right. Okay. What I was hoping for, which I saw in the professor's tutorial on the subject. Uh, there we go. Yeah. All right. I'm breaking. I'm breaking. I'm breaking. I've got the brakes on. We've dropped. You're going to make me stop, aren't you? Can I, can I reset you now? There we go. That'll do it. Uh, right now. Did you just do toggle. it wrong? Sorry. Did you just do it wrong? I did do it wrong. I th otherwise, you see, if I hadn't done it wrong, I wouldn't have stopped. But my speed limit is now set to forty-five because it's telling me eighty-five or seventy, which means forty-five, um, and uh, that's all good. Also, a thousand hertz, uh, which is great. Uh, for your Wi-Fi. It's apparently because you didn't acknowledge the yellow. I forgot to press PZB. I flipping didn't. I, 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 just I pressed a lot of PZB. I don't know. The chat, I'm pretty convinced you didn't acknowledge it. Like, you know. All right. Okay. Well, it's a fair cop. I'll take it. Uh, they were watching. <laughs> I was driving. So uh, I'll always defer, to, I'll defer to the viewers. <laughs> I'm not sure what is trying to break through from the spirit world here, but something is. Does you need to hold acknowledge as you pass the signal. Okay. Thing is, I didn't see the signal. Uh, all I saw, <laughs> oh, I did see the signal. I said oh, it's a yellow, and uh, yeah, all right, okay, all right, got it. So it was. So you admit it was you. It was. It was oh no, 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 I was never arguing. The fact that it was me, it was clearly me. Nobody else is driving this thing. It's obviously me, uh, and I obviously got it wrong. <laughs> the only, the only area of uh, of any. Uh, any discontent I have is uh, is with regard to it not giving me enough information to work off, uh, but that's only because I don't understand the information I am being presented and might not be interpreting it as information. <laughs> Any questions? No, didn't think so. Uh, listen to Natalie. I do listen to Natalie. Yeah. I didn't acknowledge, so four seconds later is emergency break. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, good. Well, look, hold on. There's an opportunity to be outside again. Look, look at that. Look, that's nice. It is nice. You know, when you're when you're not moving, frame rate's absolutely rocking. <laughs> it's probably about a million frames a second then. Uh, right. There you go. And close it. So, uh, you know, maybe we should do a, a special sit on the end of the platform mode. And people would enjoy it. All right, are we off again? Where are we going next? Uh, Malshing Oberbay. Uh, platform dry. Gleis dry is where we're heading. Um, now, so we're still in, in a 75 or 85, 70 or 85, and we're now at 500 hertz. So we have half the number of hertz available. You will be asked acknowledged everything. if... Um you, you can close the doors from the external cam. So next stop, do that. What was it, bruv? What was it? I acknowledged absolutely everything and I was doing 30. <laughs> Come on, chat. 25 <laughs> oh max. Where is it telling me that? Is that the hertz? <laughs> is a thousand hertz? Hang on, I'll turn it off. Uh, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, you're, yeah. Right. That's okay. brilliant. 25 is 500 hertz, a thousand is 45. No, wait, I know what I mean. All right, okay, I've got it. I've got, I've got some broad understanding now. Uh, yeah, 8570 with 500 hertz is only 25 kilometers an hour because of course it is. Oh, hang on, I might need to do a full turn it off and turn it on again here. Uh, right, stick that in neutral, give it a moment. Wiggle that into uh, isolated. Wiggle it back into this. Right. Uh, bang that back in and forwards. Yeah. Give it a dab of break. It always likes it likes when you give it a dab of break before you try and set off. That makes it happy. Acknowledge everything. Right. And off we toddle. Uh, 
There we go. I know trains, mate. There you go. Or you press PZB3. I did. I did press that. Oh, hold on. Well, no, no, no. Listen. Listen, train. Now, look, I understand we're stopping again. However, I was given no such indication that that rule existed. Have you just done it again? Uh, no, I know. No, 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 no. That was a thousand hurt. I had a slightly higher speed limit that time. <laughs> yeah, okay. But I will, in my own defence, I will say it never said a word about that. It never gave me any kind of an indication that it was going to have a problem with me trying to proceed in an orderly fashion. I mean, you're supposed to be driving the trains, not just emergency braking them. I'm driving it like I hate it. Uh, right. You're a little bit behind schedule as well. That's okay. That allows us to check out the uh, the information boards. Right, we are currently flashing 7085. There are no hurts, none whatsoever which means my limit is 45. So I will do 38 until the flashing stops flashing. And I'm sure it's also, yeah, it's also doing it here on the dash. Sorry, I smacked my microphone there, but given how it's acting up this evening, uh, it doesn't Probably really, deserved uh, it. Doesn't really matter. There we go, we've got all the flashing going on. Right, and neither one of those numbers has any relation. Oh, hold on, 85 flat means we can boost it. Right, let's be having you. I'm just trying to understand the inf instrumentation and that uh, neither 85, 70 or 55 have any bearing on speed. Is, uh, is there Press PZB3 to stop the flashing. Okay. I'll try that next time it decides it wants to do that. We've got another yellow coming up, everybody. Brace Are you going to acknowledge this one? Here we go again. You can't you release need a bit of luck. after a Fang Bremsung, as you jolly well know. Honestly, it's like you're new. Yeah. But you can take the fuse out and put it back in again. That seems to reset it pretty well. Uh, right, okay, here we go. Can you imagine if I was running Seifer as well, Flair? I I just oh, the, the, the level of yelling at the screen that would be going on would be uh, uh, towards uh, towards more than many people could tolerate, I'm sure. It'd probably be a very short stream as you threw your computer out the window. I chose a short route deliberately, knowing I would have no chance of completing it on time. And, again, I'm being realistic. Because, as any German commuter will tell you, German trains are not very often on time. Maybe this is why. Acknowledge the yellow within four seconds of passing it. Got it. Alternatively, Rob says, if you see a yellow, start hammering the brakes right there and then. Okay, I'm going to do both. <laughs> that piece would be pain in the butt. Possibly. Uh, but, uh, but equally, now you see, I mean, I like the 101 uh, because, oh, I'll tell you what, let's go and, uh, let's go and get in the passenger cabin. Uh, I like the 101 because uh, it is more awkward to drive. And therefore, I should love PZB for it being awkward. Um, now, I mean, it's a safety system, right? So, you know, safety systems are there to make sure that, you know, incidents of a, an unpleasant fashion happen few and far. Was that someone trying to hijack my train? Hey, I've just walked five miles. Woohoo! Hey. Congratulations. Not on this, not on this route. You say someone's trying to hijack your train? No, it looked like someone was trying to get in the cab, so I'd better take command of the situation. Well, if they do, they might be able to drive it better than you. Thank you. You're welcome. I would expect nothing less than uh, <laughs> that. That's what's going on. Oh, hold on. What was going past? I didn't see it. Is it just another one of these? All right. Okay. Off we toddle. Right. I've got no restrictions currently applied. We've got two and a bit kilometers to a yellow. Okay. Good. Close the doors of an external cam. We'll do it at the next station. I've been meaning to do that anyway, because it sounds like they they do quite a nice thunk uh, when they close, and therefore I wonder if there's a, there's a bit of an animation judder in there to, to kind of simulate them thunking. Mammendorf, platform six. Oh, it's the last it's the last stop coming up in apparently three kilometers. So we should be there in about fifteen minutes. 
Yeah. So I did that. Right? I, I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yep. <laughs> uh, what is your role at DTG? Me? Yeah, yeah. So uh, chat, I'm reading the chat. I'm not supposed to read yeah. the chat. Yeah, sorry, no, my chat, I swear it's a little bit delayed. It keeps, like, randomly scrolling up really quickly. But my job, I'm a community manager, uh, specifically working with the preservation team. Um, and I'm basically going to be... Uh, helping to get your thoughts and suggestions to the rest of the team. You'll also see me on the forums quite a lot, um, try to answer any queries, um, help you out where I can. Uh, yeah. Is that alright? That's good. How yeah. many streams have you done on any game in your life now? Including the ones I've done with DTG. Uh, yeah, yes, including those. I think this is like five, six. Yeah. So, uh, oh, oh. hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Yellow's coming up. Right. So I'm still a bit rusty, and I've got areas to improve, so I appreciate the chat for being nice to me. Yeah. Focusing their sass on you. Okay, right. I, do, I just acknowledged the PZB, and at the moment there doesn't appear to be a crisis. Oh my gosh! Did you just? I think. <laughs> Amy, Natalie, we I want think to with this print. final change in uh, in situation okay. with PZB, I might have actually done it correctly. I'll be proud of you if you have. Yeah. After after you acknowledge the, the yellow, you have to get down to eighty five within. 20 seconds. Is that 20 seconds? I can't see because part of the chat's being hidden by other other windows. Got it. But I, uh, I, to be honest, I, it's probably not helping that I've got the UI turned on. Uh, weird though that may seem. I mean, it gave me a heads up that there was a yellow approaching. Um, but uh, I, I think because I'm so used to, to driving using the UI rather than uh, rather than using trackside or dash indicators. Uh, that you become over reliant on it. It's like driving with a with a sat nav turned on, is you forget how to to figure your way around just using signposts and a bit of instinct. Um, so uh, uh, yeah, I might have to try it with the HUD off when I'm trying to learn PZB properly. But look, I did one bit right. Thank you, chat. You helped with that. Um, so now you're creating high speed routes. Can the maximum speed be added in the features section of the route description next to the length? Trains included, etc. You know what? Make a note of that. It's not an unreasonable I will make a note request. That. I like that. Not an unreasonable request at all. Um, I will write that down. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I think what we could probably do is, is put out more information on train specs as well. Uh, when detailing the the individual uh, locos and trains that are coming with a route, uh, we can we can spec them out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not very well. Yeah, that's that's something we could do. Now, hopefully, this isn't going to end the scenario because I want to be able to lock the doors from the external cat. Uh, right. Okay. Sound now kill. that's that's going to involve me using the uh, the old. Uh, uh, the old keyboard here rather than pressing the button. I do so like pressing the button. I'm just trying to find a nice angle to do this from uh, So that we get we get a good sense of, of thunkage and we can do a bit of that well, um, Do I need that? No, I don't. Okay Not the not a judder as such but hey, I think this is the first time I've ever driven a route and stayed under speed limit the entire time. We were late the entire time. These two are potentially connected there. Uh, right, oh, I've got an achievement. That's nice. Um, good, bronze. Got a bronze. Ah, okay, fine. Um, uh, yeah, only because you weren't moving for a lot of it. Not for a lot of it, for a couple of moments. Uh, the train decided it no longer wished to proceed, uh, at which point I negotiated with it. Uh, right, and now we've got a couple of minutes remaining here, so if anybody's got questions, chuck them in. Now's a good time. Um, yeah. 
and uh, and we'll we'll see what we see. Uh, but I'm going to uh, I'm just going to get the the, the ICE underway. Uh, we won't have time to do a full route, obviously, because we've only got what five minutes, ten minutes left. Um, but we can certainly get it going. Uh, let's go for spring clear. Actually, a request we've had a couple of times is uh, have a poker around Munich station. Let's have a poker around Munich station. Okay. Uh, right. Let's uh, let's make it sort of ten o'clock. ICE two depot. No. That's going to, from Augsburg to Munich. No, we want to go uh, from Munich. So it's probably this one will do nicely. Um, I'm being Start on foot. Yeah, that would have done it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that would that would have done it. Uh, uh, when's Great Western Railway coming out? Thought it was today. No, it's not. That's in the final part of the preserved collection. Uh, so GWR is in Prez Col 5. Because, you know, that makes it sound important. Um, uh, along with everything remaining, I'm fairly certain. Uh, let's get the doors open. All right, there you go. And then let's get off the train. Good. All right, okay. All right. You can tell I haven't driven the ICE for ages. And it's not even been out that long because I can't remember how to get off the train. Don't worry, everybody. We'll be going somewhere eventually. I thought I did unlock the doors. Oh, I did. Look, they're getting on. Um, I'm being asked what I currently uh, have been driving. I'll turn the. Uh, or, I, sorry, I was, just, I was just turning off the uh, the motion blur as well. Uh, well, I was thinking of giving this route a good old try, but I am open to suggestions. So if the chat want me to try out a new route, let me know what you think I should do. Well, we're going and to I'll turn be... you and Jamie loose on uh, on West Somerset next week. Uh, okay. And uh, it will be it will be you happy duo uh, taking Ooh. care of business. Lovely. Yeah, I will be drinking margaritas and uh, just you know keeping my fingers in my ears. There you go. East, East Coast Coast, is a good route. I've done East Coastway. East Coast Coastway is a good it's a good route to learn on as well yeah. because the uh, the train is uh, uh, is nice and accommodating when you're uh, when you you just try to pick it up. 101 on Tees Valley. Yeah, see, that's just cruel. That's just, they're that's being just mean. mean. They're being mean now. They're all saying Tees Valley. I feel like that's mean. Tees Valley's a great route. Uh, but uh, but East Coastway is more forgiving. Yeah. There we go. This is going to uh, Dinkelsherben. Yeah, it is. Right, okay. Let's, we'll, we'll check out the shops. In fact, we'll, we'll, we'll just have a general poke around. Because... Um, uh, Matt, the clock's still not working. Uh, right, what have we got on here? For Ein Moderna and Zuverlassiger Bahn. These are modern, modern, is hier, shut up, uh, Rungen. Der Strecken erlauben es uns ihnen schneller, uh, um weltfreundlicher, leiser, Give it up, Sam. Uh, right. <laughs> Look, I I butchered only some of that. Some of it was genuinely authentic. All right, we've got an invisi wall here at the bottom of the ramp. It's a shame. I, I wanted to see what was in uh, uh, Smy Shoe. Shoes, one would imagine. Uh, or Horthausen. Yes. Das Greg. Okay, looks like an art shop. Um, yeah. This only because she humours me, uh, but only up to a point. And uh, then, then she just lays the smack down and goes, pack it in and behave. Uh, <laughs> so there you go. No, my German's okay. I understand how German is constructed, and, uh, and therefore I've got a reasonably good understanding of, uh, of, uh, of pronunciation. But when it's a word I've not encountered before, I have to try and slap it together in real time, which is not what you want to do. Um, no. It's been uh, 30 years since I last studied German, so uh, you've got to cut me some slack. But I always liked it as a language uh, because of the way it is constructed. And because a lot of the fun words are fun to say. Yeah. yeah. Bicycle. Is this a collectible? No. This is a TSW2 bicycle but you can't collect it. There should be collectibles flipping galore around here, and I don't care about collectibles. 
Uh, I mean, you know, I like that they exist, and I like that I don't have to do it. And Can you show the big information board? Oh, where is the big information board? Presumably it's down there. Uh, yeah, Thanks. I'll zip that. And I'll zip back that way in a minute. Unless it's up here. No, that's another place. No, I, no, I don't want to give up control of it. It's still mine. Right. Ah, now the bike racks. Aren't bicycle repair facilities something that we should be? Are the bikes all the same? Uh, it was a very popular model. Right. Yeah, very popular. Very popular model. Same colour and everything. They are the same. They're just facing in different directions, Natalie. It's not like they've Which got. Makes them it's not like different. they've got one bicycle design where the handlebars are at one end and the seat at the other, and then for a different bicycle design they've flipped it round the other way. No, that's not how bicycles work. Do so they just alternate so we know they're different bikes? I want out. No, the beam of sunlight cannot be crossed by the undead train driver. Curses. Try taking the bicycle on you with the train. Oh, no, I'd love good. to. I'd love, yeah, that would be great. Trying to fight with that. Yeah, no, I'd stick it in the back of the cab somewhere. It'd be all good. Uh, where's the, where is the big timetable board? The, the big display board? So what direction should it go in, chat? Well, it's it, it'll be down the down the far end, but uh, I don't know I don't know how close to it we're going to get. This bin does not appear to have any instructions. I want to collectible them. <laughs> uh, oh well, uh, you can't collectible it all. Uh, Main hall. Go up to the roof. I think the odds of me being able to go up to the roof are pretty slim. But what I might be able to do is, once I'm back on the train, I might be able to zoom the camera out to a point that is beyond the roof unless we have been curtailed all right okay so there's the uh, there's the light beam one cannot cross no we can't we can't get out beyond here so uh, so um, only what you see here can be experienced in oh there's the big board you dope uh, right what have we got yeah 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 please consult your timetable Please, or is it check the timetable? I don't know. What's what's beachten? I don't know that. That's a, that's clearly a verb. Far plan is timetable. What's what's beachten when it's at home? Uh, that's a new one on me. Where's my train? I imagine it's this last train that's just sat here, with passengers the, getting increasingly irate. Oh, there's two now. Sorry, I lied. There's more than one train. Thought it was the only one. Uh, does the bin need instructions? That would be rubbish. Very good. Very good. The, the doors are up. Oh, no. Are so they bad. waiting for me to open the doors? The doors should be open, kids. You can probably pile in. Is are they patiently trainer? waiting? I don't Look know. I forgot all. which platform I was on. It's checked. It's observe. Oh. Bit of far plan be acting. Yeah, it's going to be pay attention on farm plan. Okay. All right. Good. That's the other thing I like about German. Even if you uh, if you use a very literal translation, it makes sense. Right? So, for example, right? This is one of my favourites. Right? Uh, and that's uh, that's Rollschuh. Right? Now, Rollschuh in German is roller skate. Okay? You're having trouble getting on your train then? I am having trouble getting on my train. It might not be my train. <laughs> is there a... There doesn't seem to be anybody in the... Oh, I've oh, fallen on those tracks. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's stop that. There we go. I was going to see if there was a driver, because if there isn't, then it should probably be me. Um, right, so roll shoe is, uh, is roller skate. Uh, roll shoe laufen is, uh, is uh, roller skate running. Right. Right? Why? You don't need a word for skate. There you go. I got back on that time. I don't know exactly what... Get out of the way. Uh, don't, I'm not entirely certain what happened. Slam my own head in the door. No, I, I've just come back to seize control so we can see the roof of the... This is... Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's turn the interface back on. <laughs> and I did find a cycle point, so that's good. There we go. Oh, gosh. Right. I've got to wait until uh, 1.49, which was six minutes ago. Now, so I've got to, now I've got to find the closed doors button. I haven't driven this train often enough. Wipers, yeah. Wipers, yeah. Close both sides. 
you betcha. Uh, clo no, close both sides. And then press the close door button. No, that's the coupling control. So are the doors closed now? No. You've just told it what you want to do when you press the door button. Right. And where's the door button? Uh, it'll be around. No, 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 no. No, that was accidental. Didn't mean to do that. Look, what I want to get the train do? in motion and then we can leave for the day. Uh, reverser two, neutral, on, forwards, also, and all of that. Close breakers. Panto up if it isn't already. Acknowledge PZB. You know what? Let's do it this way. There you go. Oh, we'll turn the lights on, which is 5-5, five, five, potentially. Right. Okay, so that's set. Let's just uh, let's just grip it and rip it and see what happens. No, hold on. We've still got red lights on. I haven't done something. Uh, throttle off. Yes. Oh, brakes are on a separate. No, no. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, Tiger. You know what? That's no, no. It's. We, I should probably just leave now. Um, everybody says it's on reverse. It's on reverse. What's on reverse? It's not in reverse. It's not in reverse. Forwards. See, forwards. Forwards. Right. Yeah. Throttles off. Brake is released. And indeed bypassed. And then off we go. No, no off we go. Something is still off. Okay, what haven't I turned on yet? There's no power. Ah, have I not put the key in? Where does oh the key God. live on this one? Oh, what are you? That's That's got potential. No. Uh, Countergraph is down. Doors are closed, yeah, okay, because that will stop you going. No, this is, this is, I see, look, I need to drive this more because uh, evidently I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, I, I think I was covering pretty well up to now, but uh, but it seems to be ev evident that, uh, no, the clueless have set in. It's next to the MCB. Pantograph up. I thought I'd done the pantograph up. And also, it should be up already. Should be up already we haven't got any juice all right close the flipping circuit breaker come on negative although it's not telling us now that we haven't uh, we have we've got no go signal there we go that's got it well whatever it was that i needed to footle with i've clearly footled sufficiently uh, right let's push every button until it goes yeah i, 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 I stupid though it sounds uh, just going through the standard procedures uh, until everything operates isn't actually a terrible way to do it. Um, you really need to learn how to drive the IC3. I really do. You're not wrong. I'm going to spend some time on it this weekend, I think, um, just so that it can be as seamless as me driving a 423 with a PZB on. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Ah, uh, yes. Moggy. Rightfully says, you needed to defootle your footle. I did need to defootle it. It's not so hard to drive. I know, it's a doddle, but it's also a spaceship. Uh, and therefore, knowing the correct... Ah, oh, there's a collectible. Um, uh, and therefore, knowing the uh, knowing the correct procedures is jolly helpful. Oh, you know what time it is, friends. Yeah, we're going to go for... We're going to go for some slow-motion kernel cam here. Uh, right. So, uh, Let me just set my throttle to something I agree with. That'll do it. I haven't got PZB turned on or CIFA, so uh, the world is going to be our oyster. Now, what we so, will enjoy uh, here, because I'm going through at free cam speedy, ooh. and you can see already that it's having a it's having a good time uh, rendering out all of this scenery as I go through it, uh, which is why we know already that the the frame rate around Munich is not as high as we'd like it to be. Bizarrely, on console, it's actually a little bit better because of the way that console is uh, is uh, yeah, 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 optimized. Um, but on PC, it doesn't run quite as well at the moment. So we've got a we've got a bunch of fixes coming. I had a perfect kernel cam speed there, so I'm going to go for uh, for a bit of this. Hang on. Show off. Doesn't happen often. <laughs> and what you want is for the you, either the camera or the train to be just faster than one another. This oh, might be train. a best ever, you know. Yeah. 
I mean, it's not the most dynamic of views, but there's lots of scenery going on and the train's doing its thing. Yeah, okay, even I have to admit that's pretty good. Um, I haven't turned the passenger lights on. Rob J79 is asking, can you tell me how layers work, Sam? Now, if you go back earlier in the stream, you'll hear me poorly explain how layers work and then skip a little bit further to after I've finished butchering the explanation and then Sam explains it quite well for yeah, you. Yeah, but you know what's going to happen now? What? Take another swing at it. Because you understand it. I know you understand I do. it. Have another swing at explaining it, because it's not an easy one to explain. It's tripping over my words, and I think it's just because I was like, it's the pressure of it, because there's a lot of people watching. Um, basically... Right, start with... I have just bought a new route. What, go, me? Go on, start with that as the as the start point for your explanation, because it's a good place to start. Okay, so, when you've just, I've just bought a new route, you have a base amount of... Uh, services. Services, thank you. Um, this particular route... Yes. ...has an awful lot of... Uh, Compatible, very good services. Oh, that's from great. That's even better than other, I said earlier. From other versions of, uh, from other DLC, I guess. From yep. other, other German add-ons. Yep. Uh, yeah, other German add-ons. Um, so when you want to use the other add-ons, the other services within your base DLC, uh, that's considered adding a layer because. They work together, right? Right. That's good. Business. I would have gone with each what? additional compatible Thanks. route adds can add an extra layer. Okay. Got it. It's, it's not easy to explain. No, it's not easy to explain, but I know you understand it, which is why yeah, I'm making I do. You do I understand it again. how it perfectly works, but trying to put it into words is painful. And poor chat, having to listen to me try. Um, but yeah, so that adds Actually. an additional layer, um, and then the problem with that is it takes up an awful lot of your memory and that's why on playstation and xbox you experience uh issues with your fps and lag because it's using up all of your memory um and there is a bug where uh you can unlock the layers um and it won't destroy your game or anything but it will hinder your performance yeah, I did the okay. AFB wrong there, suggested doing AFB. Do you have to enable AFB from a standing start, or do you need to switch it on? Because uh, just setting the AFB controller does nothing while you're already in motion. So do you do you turn AFB on? I don't know, is there, I can't remember which side the, uh, the, the panel is on. Uh, is it here? There's the LZB. Uh, no, that's just the LZB is happening light. All right, what do we got back there? Uh, there's CFA, there's PZB, there's LZB. I don't think I. I don't, you, it's used with LZB. Yeah, I know. Oh, you have to press eight in the left screen. Thank you. Right, eight. Uh, I should probably back up first, right? There we go. Right, then go eight. No, eight doesn't do anything. Oh, AFB. It's nine, not eight. There you go. Nine. AFB. Uh, I'm going to go uh, V Sol Freigarber. There you go. Wait, could, if I can get if I can get a new control. Hang on, no, it's not actually. No, it's all right. All right, okay. Yeah, Alzo. All right, let's set that to 160, and then if it's working, and I don't think it is, uh, you then what you do is you, AFB is basically a uh, cruise control. Say press six. There's lots of people saying press six. There's an awful lot of sixes. Pressed it. That's got it. AFB is cruise control. Right? Okay. So you set the speed you want to be doing on the AFB stick here once you've turned it on. Uh, and then you just wang your throttle into max and it will keep you uh, within the, the tolerance of that speed limit. Now we're here, of course, I want to get to the fast bit and, uh, and open, the, uh, open the guns up. Because uh, I want to see what the frame rate's like when we're, when we're going at full tilt. RFB, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I now I see you all saying press six. 
But I, I wasn't reading that. I was studying the screen. There were so many sixes. <laughs> yeah, they are. There's a lot of sixes going on there. Right, we've got two and a bit kilometres to go until we can do 200. That'll be exciting. Uh, but of course, because I haven't got any other safety system switched on, I can basically sit here with my arms crossed now and the train will handle everything. Which means I'm going to hang around outside and turn the interface off and it can just do what it pleases. Although I will have to up, I will have to up the AFB to, uh, to appropriate speed. You know what? This, this chopper cam isn't bad either. It's quite tasteful. Now, I'm at Superman speeds here, so uh, so a genuine... Oh, OK, can we pull off a kernel cam at Superman speeds? Ooh. I mean, I'm good, but... Uh, what, let, wait, wait. Too low, too low. Get up a bit. Yeah, you see, you've got to buy enough time to get onto the uh, onto the, your, your camera path. Get these trees out of my face. There's a bridge there. Let's get the other side of the bridge. Okay. Yeah, bridges stop you. Right. You didn't line tell me up, about that when I defined. Line it up, line it up, go. I can hear it coming. Just going faster than it. Too fast. Oh, okay, we'll try and overtake. Here we go. You know what, with the trees muddying the lens, it's not awful. But given that we're doing Superman speed here, that's not, eh, that's not dreadful. Uh, right, where, what's, our, uh, what's our current limit? Ooh, can you judge it from within the cockpit? I'm going to go with, not as such, no. You should just know because you've been paying attention. Well, I wasn't paying attention. Right, we could do 200 now. All right, there it goes. So you crank up the speed limit on the, uh, on the AFB and the train will then do its thing. Okay, put AFB to full and turn on LZB. Well, we are in the LZB section now. Do I need to do anything else to make LZB happy? Uh, where are you? you uh, that one. All right, LZB's on, crank it. All right, there we go. Now, if I've done this right, uh, the LZB should now uh, manage our speed for us. It's Danielle's birthday. Do you want me to turn the C for on? Alright, okay, can do. Well, I've got nothing else to do at the moment. Uh, well, happy birthday, Danny. There you go. Alright. There you go. I could turn PZB on as well if I felt like it, but I don't. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like it. Right, I'm turning that off, and I'm keeping... What we're looking for is the CIFA light coming on down here in these in these boxes. Now, okay. this this gauge here, where it says 9999999, see it? Yes, I okay. Yeah, yeah. That is the distance until an LZB uh, action checks. There you go, CIFA came on, and I hit Q to tell it to go away again. What does CIFA do? It's um, it's a dead man's handle. Basically, it means you've got to press a button every so often to prove you're still alive. Ah, right, yeah. All right, I'm going to try and notice that out of my peripheral vision while we're tanking it along. We're doing 210-ish at the moment. And I'll tell you what, now that we're outside Munich, this is, this is running very, very nicely. Sorry, uh, I just hit my microphone. There you go, Sifa. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Uh, yeah, no, it's 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 all good. I mean, because uh, I, I, I've only driven the ICE three uh, once before now, and that was the three M that we did before uh, before TSW. Uh, might let's see see for speak for one or two <laughs> for one or two times. Only if you can hear it. Someone says whatever Matt might have taught me. You're trying to undo it. Yeah, afraid so. There you go. No, this is all good. No, I'm liking it. Now, would you really want to live adjacent to a train track that had 200 kilometer an hour rocket ships going past it? You would have to have some very serious double glazing. I think even Ted Moll would struggle uh, to sell you appropriate double glazing then, which is a reference you're definitely not going to get. I'm just testing it 
on the uh, on the old audience there. See. All right. I'll... I mean, I feel like the train enthusiast. Well, okay. Well, look, you can you can like, listen to Sefer for yourself. Uh, basically, just turn Sefer on, and it you know it's such an attention seeker it never leaves you alone. <laughs> I think you're asking the wrong people if they want to live next to a train track because the answer is yes. Well, the, see, the thing is, in that built-up area that we were in, the, the barrier would deflect the sound. The barrier would deflect some of the sound, um, but it wouldn't deflect all of the sound. Not to mention the fact it was an enclosed. So the sound bouncing off one side of the barrier would bounce off again the other side of the barrier. So you would get a reverberating... I mean, I, mean, I know they're designed by very clever people and that they largely work, otherwise we wouldn't use them. But there is a level of sound that you will still get. Oh, 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 I almost missed my C for that. I was reading the chat again. You could also just you know, buy some earplugs. Yeah, there you go. Alright, that's good. Right, there you go. That's going to wrap it up for today, because we're, we're at top speed. We're at 2.30. Um, and, uh, no, no, I don't, this is... I, what I like about high speed is just how relaxing it is. Mm -hmm. It's very, very chilled, which is not what you would expect when you're, you're, you're doing a lot of miles per hour. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, tomorrow evening, you've got... Uh, tomorrow Matt evening... Matt and Jamie. Yeah. And what are they doing? They're playing West Somerset Railway. They're doing West Somerset? Oh, in that case, you'll have to do something that isn't West Somerset from Preserved Collection next week. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> Good. Uh, right, okay. Um, and, uh, and we're back on Tuesday with uh, the Roadmap Update. Uh, yep. which, which should be jolly exciting. So, uh, so have yourselves a pleasant rest of the evening. Um, uh, this route is available today. Uh, you, can, you can go pick it up right now, alongside the, uh, the latest set of preserved collection as well. Uh, head on over to the forums if you want to know the latest about what's going on with those, and, uh, and have yourselves a, uh, a pleasant rest of the day, pleasant weekend. A pleasant everything, really. Now, I'm going to trigger the trailer before Sefer stops the train. So, uh, cheerio, Natalie. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good. That worked flawlessly. This, this might be a bit loud. All right, brace yourselves. Trailer's coming in three, two... <laughs>